let's take a look at lesson four for today. So the question asked for today, how can we use what we have learned about ecosystems, your materials and tools, to help us design a process to clean an oil spill so that it has the least impact on an ecosystem? Now, yesterday when we started the design process, we talked about ask. And I'll just go ahead and just review some of the questions that you did ask when we started. Someone said, what materials should we use? Others said, how do the materials work? Why is the oil there? And how much did the oil pollute? You're going to now take what you learned about all the materials to go through the entire process and come up with the solution. You're going to imagine, imagine what you're going to do, plan it out, and then create it. And if it didn't work too well, then we can go to improve. So you're going to get a bunch of river rocks, and half the rocks will be on one side. So on this side, in a, in a moment, I'll be pouring about a cup and a half of water. And there's a guide for today. Take a look. So for today's challenge, when you're designing your process, you get $20 million to spend. You don't have to use all the material. You don't have to use everything. And notice how many of each object did I give you? One. Just one. one. But in this design process, you can use different amounts of one material. Are there any different questions now that we can ask? Um, what happens if the materials don't work? Oh, what happens if the materials don't work? What are the benefits? What are the benefits? Okay, so take a look at all the questions we just added. So by looking at your cost sheet and putting in mind, you don't have to use everything that's given to you. Because if you look at it and we actually sit there and we add all the materials or tools up, you might go over the 20 million. We're going to start designing our process now. Okay, we're going to start with ask. And I want you to look at the handout. How did the oil spill affect the ecosystem? Don't tell me, write it down. How do you think it affected the ecosystem? What materials and tools worked well to contain and remove the oil? Because that's what the boom technology did. Number three, if you're ready, asked, what materials and tools did not work well to contain and remove the oil? For number four, and they're asking you to how will you evaluate your oil spill cleaning process? How will you know it worked? We have a $20 million budget, okay? We have to determine what materials we're gonna use. So I want you to start brainstorming and don't share it with your group yet, okay? We're working on the Imagine piece now, but I want you to think about the order of the steps when you try to go ahead and clean up the oil spill. There's no wrong or right way because this is your part of the process. This is your Imagine piece. Now here's where you can collaborate. Take all your ideas that you came up with and now decide which materials you're going to use as a group. We can open the paper filter out yeah, like, all over like, it and the, um, and the oil will stick to it. What else do we have? Do we think nylon will be Yes, yes. yes. nylon. Nylon. Can I put in the, yes. Felt. Um, no. I don't really probably, know what probably, felt. Probably. I don't probably. really know what felt do. Look, did. look. Probably. Look at felt on the list. No. 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 Total is 10 million in all. Right. Yeah. 20. Which is 10 million. You guys have done a really good job planning. Okay, so we've done the ask piece, you've done your questions, you've imagined what you're going to be using, and now you came up with the plan. We want to rank how you guys are doing with your process. We want to see based on how the oil is being collected, how well your ideas worked. And then that will give us an opportunity when we get to the improve piece, how you can correct what you're doing. In your head, on the count of three, say how much you're spending. One, two, three. Got the number? Yeah. Okay. So based on how much you spent, did you get a score of one, two, three, four, or five? Look, in your, look on the paper and say it to yourself in your head. The score that you got, I want you to fill it in the first box that says cost score. I want you to notice how there's other scores on there. Do you see that? There's also something called a shore score. There's something called an ecosystem impact score. 
I will just explain this briefly, but I just want to show you, okay? The shore score tells us what you see in the river. You're going to score it to see, well, how well was the oil removed on the shore, on the rock area, and how well was the oil removed on your river area. That's what we're going to test out to see. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to start handling, um, handing out your models for you. One person from your group, go ahead and take out your green sheet. All the materials are up here for you. And what you're going to be deciding in a second is based on what you wrote down for your materials or tools. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select somebody from your group to go ahead and come shopping at my store. And you're going to decide based on what you wrote down how much of the materials you're going to be grabbing. Whoever took out the green paper, go ahead and come up here and bring your green paper to me. And then just make one line. Okay, so what do you need? You tell me. Uh, one, one sponge. One sponge. Three nylon. Three nylon. One pipette. One pipette. There you go. Thank you for shopping. Make sure that you have your model. You should have a bowl, a black bowl that says waste. You should also have a brown paper bag once the water goes in, okay? Is it like we got the cocktail? They were like, stay in one place. Okay, okay. observe what happens. See what happens. It looks like Swiss cheese. So look on your green paper. Follow your process now. You guys planned it, okay? And you went ahead, and now you're going to create the next step. Remember the order you're supposed to go in. You may begin. Now the cotton ball is starting to spread it. Okay, fine, fine. That was a tiny screen. What are you guys noticing about the oil? That it's pushing away from the cotton ball. Okay, so, so is it absorbing like you thought it would? Absorb the oil. Operation clean What's the oil. What's happening here? It's working. Okay, so next time, if we do this again, we need you mean two yeah. two felt. Yeah, we need two felt. It was yeah. interesting to see what everybody's process was, how they decided to put the steps in order, and what materials they used in those steps. So what we're going to do is, the person who has the green sheet still, I need you to flip it over and put it to the score sheet that we had. Now, you had three things in front of you. What I would like to test first is your shoreline, meaning we want to see how well what you guys decided, your process, how well it was able to remove oil from the shoreline. One, two, one, two. Wow. Nothing got on me. Uh oh. This is really good. Look how much oil you Did your paper bag have any oil on it after you wiped it along the riverbank? So, did you see any oil? If you say yes, any oil on the bag, Go ahead and check off yes. Go ahead and take the white sheet for me. There's two spots on the paper that say fold here. Watch what I'm going to do and I'll face it this way so it's like you're looking at it. Fold back here, meaning fold the paper to the back and keep it on the line. Now this is what I would like you to do. You see where the river is. Okay, this is going to be my part of my oil detector sheet. You see the boxes? Face it down. These boxes are what's going to be touching the water. Okay, so pick it up. Slip it over and put it on your table. I went around and I kind of showed you guys where the water marks were and where the oil spots were. The oil spots are the circular spots, okay? They kind of stand out. They look kind of greasy looking. You have your oil detector. Notice how there's a huge circle that says three points. Do you see how there's a second circle that says two points? And there's a smaller circle that says one point. I want you to look in the first box. Was there any oil? If there is, you're looking for which size spot of the oil do you see? So then mark We're not on the scale. Well, check. What do you see? Do you see a big one, a small one? I see a big one. Ooh, but it has, that's, that's how you know by size. That's actually yeah, nothing. nothing. Yeah. Which one is the closest one you can see for the first box? Uh, a 
For the size of the For the size of the oil spot. One. Okay, one. Okay, so go ahead and put a one on this paper. And then you can finish up the row and they can do the other row. Perfect. You, can, you divided it, right? One. Clear it up. Perfect. One person, add up all the numbers. If you have your number, go ahead and record it in your sheet now, in your green sheet. Record it where it says ecosystem impact score. So you should have a total score from your cost score, your shore score, your ecosystem impact score to get your total score. I'm going to go ahead and put up what each table got so that way everybody can see. So based on your score, we looked at everything you did, the different materials every group used, and that's the score that we came up with. My question to you is, do you think it's better to have a higher score or lower score? What does it mean? Um, the score determines how much oil was was in your was in your um, uh, river. Okay. And they want to get the oil out of the river, not like count up, um, um, like put in like like not um, keep it in. So um, if you got more oil in your river, it's bad. Okay. So based on what you know, okay. We're going to go ahead and get a chance to improve what we did with the river, okay? Are you guys ready to take that final challenge for the next lesson? Yes. Yeah, buddy. Now, you guys got a chance to come up with what materials you thought would work to clean up your oil spill. Why do you think it's important to improve your oil spill cleaning process? To see if all the oil is out of the river. To make the environment clean and safer. Correct. Correct. Go ahead and flip to your green paper. Go the, all the way to the back for me. And the last sheet says, cleaning an oil spill. Engineering design process can improve. Just take a minute and I want you to reflect. Go back to what your group did yesterday. If you're ready, you can move to number four. It says, check all the things you will change about your oil spill cleaning process. We gotta input the cotton ball. Yeah, and the, we need two sponges. One yard. Yeah, it's going all the way. This is going to be hard because you're going in the rocks. At first, I'm going to suck up all in the rocks. And don't forget the edges. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Never mind. There's some over here. Wow. Let's try to get all the particles out. We should have got another sponge. Sure. But the sponges isn't doing anything but spreading it. Now, as I walk around, I'm going to hand you over the brown paper bag to test your shoreline. I'm handing out your oil detector sheet and oil detector. So, the process is Based on what you guys did with improving, not too bad, not too bad. Could you, if we had a chance to actually improve again, do you think you can lower the score even further? Yes. yes. So, out of curiosity, how many of you guys would love to be an environmental engineer when you grow up? How about you don't have to wait until you grow up. You can do it right here when we do what we do at school with recycling and go green. It all pertains to everything you've done. I think lesson four was my favorite. They actually took everything they learned. I mean, starting from lesson one with the storybook, lesson two with the engineer, lesson three with the materials, they threw that all in. And it was just interesting because all the expressions changed. And they knew already with lesson four, well, this didn't work with lesson three. We don't want to use it. You know, let's cut costs. Let's save some money. So by having all that background they did in the other three lessons, this was the most fun.